You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Algerian President Abdel Majid Tabon on his country's national day. His Majesty the King expressed heartfelt good wishes to the Algerian President on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Tabon on his country's national day. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed good wishes on the occasion. He also sent a similar cable to his Algerian counterpart Abdel Aziz Jarad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the President of Algeria, Abdel Majid Tabon, on occasion of his country's national day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister Abdel Aziz Jarad. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, revealed the issuance of licenses and municipal declarations electronically will start on Sunday using the electronic number scanning technology QR code to ensure the verification of the validity of the electronically issued licenses. The Minister noted that this service will allow users to issue certifications or licenses electronically through the Ministry's website without the need for personal attendance and enabling them to pay their fees electronically through the National Payment Portal or via SEDAD, which will help facilitate procedures as well as reduce operational expenses. He added that the ministry developed a plan and formed a specialized technical team from the Information Systems Department of the ministry to convert municipal services into electronic services. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, praised the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the support and follow up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, concerning the construction of housing cities with all needed facilities and services. He stressed that this approach, since the launch of the housing march last century, has proved its effectiveness in providing decent housing for Bahraini citizens and founded new sustainable communities with harmonious social fabric across the kingdom. Marking the World Cities Day, which falls on October the 31st, the housing minister described the occasion as an opportunity to recall the Bahraini experience in building the housing cities and providing so far eight cities, including Isa, Hamad and Zaid, and five in the new millennium, which are Salman, Khalifa, East Hid, East Sitra, and Ramli suburb cities. He affirmed that those cities had become part of the kingdom's identity after new urban communities were formed, reflecting success of the vision. The minister added that the idea of the new Bahrain cities that the ministry is currently building within the framework of a plan to implement the royal order to build 40,000 housing units is inspired by the success of establishing Isa Town, Hamad Town and Zayed Town. He noted that the new cities once again confirmed the success of that vision which is embodied in the first stages of settling citizens in them. The Ministry of Health announced the launch of a new website in both Arabic and English which aims to keep citizens and residents abreast of any developments related to public health in the kingdom. In addition to national efforts aimed at promoting public health across Bahrain as well as instilling health awareness among all members of society. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, affirmed that the launch of the Ministry's website came in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa to further develop the quality of health services provided to all. Highlighted that the website in its initial vision is will it raise awareness among the kingdom's citizens and residents by serving as a platform to provide detailed updates on Bahrain's response to the coronavirus COVID-19 global pandemic, precautionary measures and decisions issued by the government, as well as the efforts of Team Bahrain, especially first responders and other essential workers in combating the virus. Additionally, all directives and decisions issued by the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and other decisions related to precautionary measures and relevant guidelines will be accessible via the website. Asalah noted the importance of the website as an official source for information and updates on the COVID-19 global pandemic, adding that the website will continue to provide important general health developments within the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting that once the global COVID-19 pandemic subsides, the website will continue to publish information on all necessary health developments within the Kingdom of Bahrain. In the presence of His Highness Sheikh Turki bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the first race for the season 2020-2021 at its race course in Rafa Sakhir. His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Turki bin Rashid al-Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid al-Khalifa also 
attended the seven-round race which was held over the cups of the late His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Turki bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa presented trainer Alan Smith with the season's opening cup. His Highness Sheikh Turki bin Rashid also presented trainer Fauzi Nas with the trophy of the sixth round. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Rashid and His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid presented trainer Alan Smith with the trophies of the first and third rounds and trainer James Naylor with that of the second round. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Turki crowned trainer James Naylor, the winner of the fourth round. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal presented owner His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed with the trophy of the fifth round. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,782 active cases with new 263 recoveries, 204 registered new cases and two deaths. 40 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 156 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. The Bahraini permanent representative to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faras Rwai, delivered a speech to the Security Council during a virtual meeting held by the Council on Women, Peace and Security. He affirmed the Kingdom's support for all international efforts for the advancement of women, achieving gender balance in all developmental and humanitarian fields, and enhancing their contribution as an active partner in security, peace and sustainable justice. He also explained that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, supports the participation of women in decision-making posts and public affairs, and aims to enhance women's role as an equal partner in dealing with current and future challenges and opportunities. He indicated that the Supreme Council for Women, presided by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, launched specific initiatives to provide the needs of Bahraini women in, within the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, while continuing to respect their international commitments contained in the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, in addition to Security Council Resolution 1325.